Hello students. In the last video I said that um, we'd then be moving on to subtracting videos, but we'll, we'll show you one more method of adding integers. Um, basically what we're going to do is figure out a rule for it, and sometimes that's the most efficient way to do it. So when you're first learning, it's good to think about money and bills or numbers on a number line. But in the end, you want to be able to do this really quickly. So sometimes just having a, a rule for, in this case, for adding integers is the most efficient way to do it. But we don't want to just give you the rule. We want you to sort of see that it does work. So let's go ahead and do these six questions, thinking of money and bills. And from that, we'll figure out what the rule is. So here we are. In this case, we're adding numbers of the same sign. So in this case, we're adding two positive numbers. And over here, we're adding two negative numbers. So let's quickly do this. $4 plus $7 is $11. $3 plus $8 is $11. $5 plus $7 is $12. On the right hand side, a bill for $5 plus a bill for $5 means we owe $10. Here we owe $3 plus $12, so negative 3 plus negative 12 is negative 15, and negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10. Now what you need to do is look at those. I'll probably stop the video shortly. Have a look at those and see if you can come up with a quick rule, like what do you do when you're adding two numbers where the signs are the same, when they're both positive or both negative? So uh, just stop it and have a think, and um, at least in your head, try to have a rule. And then I'll tell you how I write it down. Okay, well, if I add two positive numbers, what I'm really doing is just adding the numbers, and there's the answer. If I add two negative numbers, I just add the two numbers. I can think of that as being 3 plus 12 is 15, and I keep the negative sign. So the way that I write this, and you probably had a similar rule, but maybe worded slightly differently, to add when the signs are the same, I say just add the numbers, add the numbers, and keep the same sign. So keep the sign. So if you're adding two two amounts of money together, you get more money. If you're adding two debts together, you get a, a bigger debt. So to add when the signs are the same, add the numbers and keep the sign. What's a rule for adding when the signs are different? Like a positive, sorry, negative and a positive, or a positive and a negative. Oops, I got two equal signs in there, so I'll just cross that one up. Okay, let's do it using money and bills first, and then see if we can come up with a, uh, a rule for doing this. So I've got a bill for $4 plus $7 altogether. After I pay off the bill, I have $3. I've got $3 and a bill for $8. So I can pay off part of the bill, but I still owe $5. I've got $5 and a bill for $7. So after I pay it off, I still owe 2 here I've got $7 in a bill for $5, so I'm $2 to the good. Here I'm $9 to the good. I've got $12. I pay off my bill of $3, leaving me 9 And I got a bill for $7 plus $3. I still owe $4. Okay, now can we come up with the rule that basically tells us what to do when we're adding numbers where the signs are different? So you might want to stop the video and have a think and either write down your rule or at least have a rule in your head and see how that compares to the one that I like to use. So one thing I notice is here I've got a 3 and an 8 and I get 5 for the answer. Well, I think, oh, well, that's like 8 minus 3. Here I've got a, a 3 and a 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. So when I'm adding two numbers with different signs, in a way, what I'm really doing is subtracting. But then how do I decide if the final answer is positive or negative? Well, it depends which is the bigger number. Here, here my, I've got more money than debt, so it's positive. Here I have more debt than money, so it's negative. So the way that I like to express this, 
to add when the signs are different, I say subtract. And that means ignoring the positives of negatives. So just look at the numbers, but not looking at the sign. So for example, 7 minus 3 is 4. Subtract and keep the sign of the larger. Now that's a little bit incorrect because um, let me look, find an example here. Um, 3 is larger than negative 8, but what I mean by that is my bill is larger than the amount of money I have, so I keep the sign of the negative in this case. So to add when the signs are different, subtract 8 minus 3 is 5. Keep the sign of the larger. Well, the bill is larger than the money, so therefore it has to be negative. This question over here, 12 minus 3 is 9. I've got more money than bills, so I keep the sign of the 12, which is positive. So if you want to use a rule for adding, you've got to do it in two steps. If the signs are the same, add the numbers and keep the sign. And if the signs are different, subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the larger numbers. So um, have a go, please. Using these rules, have a go at these eight questions. And then restart the video and check answers. OK, let's go ahead and solve these using the rule. If the signs are different, I subtract and I keep the sign of the larger. The five is the, the debt of five dollars is bigger than the three dollars. Signs are different. Subtract three minus two is one, and a three is positive. Um, the signs are the same. Just add. The signs are the same. So just add and keep and keep the sign. So negative five plus negative four is negative nine. With zero, it just doesn't change the answer. So anytime you add zero, you just keep the same number. So maybe I should have included that in my rule. Here I'm adding uh, two numbers with the same sign. So negative seven plus negative seven is negative 14. Here the signs are different. So eight minus two is six. And because the eight is positive, the answer is positive eight. Okay, now adding integers, well, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing integers is a very, very important step um, in mathematics, especially once you start doing your algebra later in the year. So you do need to be very, very good at this. So my suggestion now is open up your exercise book or your textbook, sorry, and just practice, practice, practice. Okay, and we'll see you in the next video, which will be on subtracting integers.